What is up my energy bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is Call of Duty itself. So we all know that COD is released every year. Now we did get a while ago, well a couple of years ago now, three game developers to basically ease the pressure on the game developers to give them more time to work on their game or their craft. Of course this was ultimately then scrapped because Sledgehammer games weren't good enough. Like many people who have played COD every year and bought the new installments of the franchise near enough every year, I can personally say that this needs to change. So what do I mean about it needs to change? Well, we see numerous games throughout the years come out either being extremely very buggy, glitchy, and or having to update their game weeks after to include content that should have been in the game from the beginning or from launch of the game or even some cut content or content being cut altogether. Now with the newest installment coming this year Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, I feel this should be the best way to basically put a pause, not a stop, on the production of COD games. So instead of having a new COD game every year, maybe every two years we could have a new COD game. So for example, Black Ops Cold War comes out this year, 2020, and we could have tons of content in the game at launch, which we should. We are getting four sections in the Black Ops Cold War. These are campaign, multiplayer, zombies, and of course Warzone will near enough be the future in the Call of Duty games as well. This should give us tons of content for the game. Instead of having little DLC, we could get more DLC, and I don't think that Call of Duty should just stop production on their games. That would just be insanely, insanely dumb. But instead of having a product's life cycle lasting for one year, you could potentially extend this to two to three years with new content. This would take huge pressure off the likes of Treyarch and Infinity Ward, and this could be like right 2020. Like it would be so, so good. We could come up with the whole story in 2020 and where we want to go with the game. Then in 2021, we could work on the multiplayer side, making more maps available at launch, like back in the day. Nowadays, we get, what, eight to 10 maps at launch. We used to get 16 to 20, maybe, maybe even just 18 at launch. Also within 2021, this could have the likes of Raven Software, and or Sledgehammer games come in and work on the Warzone part of the next games. Of course, this would only work if they will work together because we've seen in the past that they have not been able to work together. This would take huge pressure and strain that these companies or game developers have been under for quite some many years now, for quite some time and many, many years. Going back just on DLC and progression in Modern Warfare, we can earn a load of rewards. However, what's the point in earning these nearing the end of the product's life cycle or the end of Call of Duty for that year when we won't be able to use them in Black Ops Cold War? Now, to me, it's just not logical anymore to have a COD game coming out every year where it's either buggy or it doesn't have promised content at launch. My personal opinion, they should have, they should push back COD every two, two or three years and the developers working on that game that year creates enough content for that game while the other developer works on their game and creating as much content for that game when it comes out. That's just my personal opinion. I think it would be a great opportunity because people are getting sick of kind of buying a COD every year and being like, yeah, this year it's really, really bad. Thank God we only have to play it for a year, etc., etc. But I understand that. But people are getting also sick of going and having to buy a game every year when they could be good at, for example, they could be really good at Modern Warfare, 
but then be really, really bad at Black Ops Cold War. Like, you see what I'm saying here? If you maybe extended Modern Warfare's life cycle to two years, you could have a load of content for it and build up more story arcs and more maps and everything like that and then have Treyarch, Call of Duty, Black Ops Cold War come in and kind of take over from there. But that's just... In my personal opinion, this is what they could potentially do and should probably do. Be a very good thing to do, I think, in my mind. Maybe even bring on another developer to help, like they did with Sledgehammer Games, to create World War II. Of course, that was a, wasn't was great. But they could easily get another big company come in and help them. Or maybe Activision could potentially purchase numerous game developer company small ones and say right every one of you are coming together under one branch just say you're going to be called eagle software or something you're going to be working on the next cod game that's all you're going to be doing the whole time you're not going to be working on any other games if you want to work on any other games you have to go to another games developer kind of thing that potentially could work and it would take major strain off of the other game developers the likes of infinity ward and treyarch but this is just my personal opinion of course many other people would disagree with me and many other people would probably agree with me as well but yeah this is the end video guys i hope you did like it if you did please hit the like button right beside the like button is the subscribe button that you can hit to subscribe to my youtube channel beside that is a notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever i upload a video to my youtube channel or whenever i go live on my youtube channel which is rare link down in the description below will bring you to my twitch channel down there is where i live stream weekly when you're there you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever i go live over on my twitch channel i also manually update my twitter account whenever i upload a video or whenever i go live stream on my twitch account link to that would be down in the description below as well and yeah as you guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace